Hello, and welcome to Vault Rim Submissions Publishing. Submissions Publishing provides an end-to-end -end publishing process to manage content planning, publishing, and finalizing submission content in preparation for submitting to health authorities. Submission Publishing includes pre-configured user and system actions to support this process flow. From within Submissions Archive, users can create a collection of documents that represent a change to a product and submit them for approval to make changes to marketed products. Submissions Publishing allows us to create the application and the foundation for all submissions that need to go out to various health authorities. From here, we can specify information such as product family or families, and even track health authority questions going forward for any of the submissions that have been sent out. Most importantly, we can create new submissions to go out to the various health authorities. Vault Submissions allows you to give a submission name that meets whatever business process you choose and does not have to be in ascending order of number. From here, we can also specify the submission type based off of the overall region and application that we have created, and the subtype based on the submission type. For Vault Submissions to properly handle all publishing jobs within the system, we need to specify the planned submission date. This enables the system to take the priority off of the closest time submission to today's date. Next, we need to specify the publishing details, aka the XML information that will be published out for the submission. Once finished, we click the Save button to create the submission record that we've populated. Now that the submission has been created, we can now see the chevron at the top showing us the overall life cycle of the submission and all the information we populated from the creation menu. Navigating on the left hand side, we can now see the quick links about the information we can populate about the overall submission and the XML pieces that are needed. Once all the pieces of metadata have been defined on the record, we now need to create our submission content plan to populate the submission record. That's done using the Actions menu in the top right-hand corner. Simply choose the appropriate content plan template that has been loaded into the system and dossier format and click the Start button. This will enable the system to create your content plan for your given submission. Once the content plan has been created, you'll see the content plan icon in the top right hand corner. Click it to enter your overall submission content plan. From here, you'll see a complete picture of the submission that has been populated off of your submission record. You can see all of the modules that are present based on the various information that was supplied. We can expand the various sections, or we can also change the lifecycle state of them as they are not needed for this particular submission, just like Module 5 as we see here. If we refresh the page, we'll notice now that Module 5 now has a slash through it as it is not an active section within the overall submission. If we need to modify that, we can go down to the lowest level within that particular module, and we can reactivate any particular record to use for that submission. Once completed, we can refresh the page to see all of the information that has taken effect and get a clearer picture of what our final submission content will look like. We can use the root level of the content plan and we can expand all of our criteria, getting a much clearer picture of our submission. You can also configure and change your view at the top left hand of the screen to show different information in the columns on the right hand side which pertain more to your individual items for your publishing. Once the submission outline has been finished, we can now go to the root level and change the state of our submission content plan to baseline. This state allows some jobs to happen in the background and also kicks off some of the workflow items on the submission record itself. By refreshing the page, we can now see that the submission has gone from draft to baseline within the content plan.
By navigating back to the submission record, we can see by changing the content plan to baseline, the workflow for our submission has moved from draft to in progress. We now need to go to the publishing details to ensure enable continuous publishing has been turned from no to yes. Continuous publishing provides the capability to continuously publish documents as they become associated with the content plan and as related content or attributes are updated within the system. With continuous publishing enabled, we can now see that the publishing process has kicked off. We can now see the current status of our submission in the Submissions Archive Viewer. We can now transition back to the submission content plan. Not only does Vault Publishing allow you to create new material, but we can also change the XML operation on various items by simply double-clicking into that area and choosing the correct operation. On the individual leaf where the operation has been changed, we can now select the Actions menu, and select set leaf operation. This allows you to change the xlink href in the XML to that particular document to something in the past. Once the submission outline is built, we can now start working on the documents themselves. At any given time, the documents can be associated with the content plan by simply opening the library and using the drag and drop functionality by selecting the document and dragging it onto the right section within the submission. We can continue to do this until all documents have been associated. Documents do not have to be in an approved state in order for them to be associated with the content plan. When using submissions publishing, we can create cross-document link annotations within Vault or cross-document links during authoring. When publishing content, submissions publishing converts these links to a standard relative PDF link. Using the annotations mode on the document, we can select the link to create hyperlinks from one document to another within the system. A permalink creates a unique identifier for the link that will be maintained throughout the entire lifecycle of that particular document. Simply navigate to the area or the document that you wish to link to, click the plus button, and that link is now created from one document to another within Vault Publishing. Once all hyperlinks have been completed, simply exit out of the document back to your submission content plan. Another aspect of submissions publishing is the continuous validation. Submissions publishing provides the ability to verify ECTD submissions against the health authority validation criteria. This provides validation information on an ongoing basis, allowing you to review and resolve validation errors and warnings in real time. Continuous validation allows you to see the severity and the location of any of the errors or warnings. Here you can see we have one for a submission contact missing. To resolve that, we simply need to add the contact, click Save, and submission validation runs concurrently through the process, so it will fix that particular error. Once the job is finished, we can refresh the screen going back to the open validation results to see that the open validation result has now been resolved and is no longer present. Lastly, once the entire submission is assembled and completed, we now need to complete the lifecycle on the submission content plan by first locking the match documents to the steady state to make sure we're sending the correct document version out to the health authority. Lastly, we need to change the state to complete it. This ensures that all material is ready to be sent out to the various health authorities. Once completed, you can now go to the Submissions Archive Viewer where Vault Publishing will also create your record for you in the archive. 
you can use this as a review tool before sending it out to the agency, making sure that all hyperlinks are working, all document lifecycle is active and appropriate to the individual submission. Final step in the submissions publishing process is sending the submission to the health authority. In Vault Submissions Publishing, this can be done directly from the application by changing the submission to the correct lifecycle state. Lastly, Vault Submissions Publishing allows you to submit directly to various health authorities by clicking the Submit to Gateway button. You'll receive a summary of what's going to be sent for that particular submission, and you can click Submit. Any acknowledgments from the Gateway Transmission will be automatically added to the submission record in the Attachments section. From here, we can lifecycle the submission to Submitted and then Closed or Health Authority Received to finish out the process.